So this car is unique. It's a one of one. It was produced in February of 1968 and it was a special order to the Denver dealership, a passionate pink 1968 Mustang and it has a white and black houndstooth top and that makes it technically a one of one because only seven of these cars were produced. I still don't know how my grandmother got it but uh, she owned this car sometime in the late 60s all the way till 1973. I found out about this because I was really into Mustangs in high school. And my dad and I were fixing an old 66 Mustang. And every time we'd be working on it, he'd say, yeah, my mom had this pink Mustang and wouldn't say much about it. And I, I knew that she died of suicide, but you know, he didn't talk much about her. And so, you know, my curiosity became a passion. My passion became uh, something that was about Mustangs, but also knowing more about my grandmother that I never knew. As I became older and I got through college, uh, I tracked down the car. And it turns out the car was uh, sold in 1973 after she died to a family in Northwest Kansas about 25 miles away from her hometown. And they kept it for, at that point, over 20 years. I saw the car for the first time in uh, Selden, Kansas, 2002. When I went to go see it, it kind of ignited my fire to get this car back. And they told me promptly, no, we're not gonna sell it. <laughs> so, uh, in fact, it was a pretty emphatic no. Um, so I, I said, I'd like to stay in touch. Can I call you once a year? The lady was nice enough to say, yeah, you can give me a call, and the answer is probably gonna be no. And, and so I did that. I called her 20 straight years. Every May, she would sometimes tell me no. Sometimes she'd tell me maybe one day, and, but there was never a point she said never. Sometime around 2001, I let her know that I was gonna be about 400 miles away with my family for a wedding. I asked if we could come see it. So I brought my dad back, my mom, my kids, to come see the car. And my dad had not seen the car since his mom had, had died. The last time he had seen the car was when she was driving off to Denver sometime in early 73. So it was the first time he saw his mom's very unique car almost 50 years. So a very emotional moment and I was told Again, no, we're not selling it. But I didn't give up on that. And the next year I called again and, and she finally said yes. My father and I made this trip up to Northwest Kansas to get it and he just opened up. You know, he talked a lot about Eva. Eva was her name, telling me stories about her, how beautiful she was, how unique she was, how she was a one of one, just like this car. And it dawned on me that, you know, this car should be used for mental health awareness. Um, it should be used to, to help destigmatize suicide prevention, mental health crisis, and that's what we do now. We use it for exactly that. The car has been, been an absolute blessing for our family because suicide, you know, a, a subject that's really difficult to talk about, didn't really get talked about in our family for uh, decades. And this car has brought that subject to light. It's, I think, allowed for some healing, not only for my dad, but uh, for his two sisters. We had the opportunity to, to use the car for my sister's wedding this past year. I drove her away, her and her husband, after the wedding with my dad and my mom present. It's just been, it's been a cool journey. It's been a really cool journey to get it back and knowing that there's no real end to it. You know, we've got a, we've got a, a big fight to help raise awareness to make mental health a more common topic, you know, something that we can all talk about. And I think this car helps with that because, you know, it is kind of awkward to drive around. You know, you don't see these every day. You know, a pink old Mustang with a black and white checkered top, it, it, it draws attention. And I love talking about, you know, how we're using it. You know, we want to shed light on darkness. We want everyone to know they're a one of one, just like this car and we're gonna use it to be a living tribute to her.